In this video, I'm going to talk about working with background vector layers in PCSwim. PCSwim can support loading of any number of background layers simultaneously and supports over 50 different vector and raster GIS layer formats for reading. PCSwim can reproject from one coordinate system to another um, for these background layers and can convert file formats from one GIS format to another also provides full querying and thematic rendering of those background layers. And if you unlock the layer, you have full editing capabilities, including adding, removing, moving shapes, and editing the entity attributes for those shapes. Um, to begin with, let's load a few layers. So I'm going to go into my Layers Manager. And first of all, I'll remove the um, background uh, digital orthoquad layer so we don't crowd things too much. And I'm going to add some layers. I'll add a uh, polygons layer, a line layer, and a point layer. Click on Open. And the layers have now loaded. And to give you a sense of the number of data points in the layers, let's unlock, for example, the water usage layer. I'll s select a data point on that layer. And you can see the attribute information for that layer. If I um, select all the entities, you see we have uh, over 10,000 points on that layer. So it's fairly quick to work with this kind of data. Um, let's uh, zoom in a little bit so it's not so crowded. And uh, let's show you how to uh, change the rendering of a layer. So let's go back into our layers. I'm going to turn off the water usage layer and perhaps the roads layer as well to simplify things. For the catchment layer, let's change the uh, rendering attributes. In this case, I'm going to render on water consumption because we might be able to use this data to determine um, wastewater inflows or dry water inflows into the sanitary sewer system. Uh, choose the uh, rendering gradient scheme click on apply and we have our let's zoom out to the current layer so we can see and I'll turn off the swim layer so we can see this in a little bit more detail and now we have rendered the water usage uh, if we wanted to view this in a 3d version um, we can simply view, uh, choose to view the data in Google Earth and turn on the extruding. Click on View. Reprojects this into Google Earth. And now, if we get a nice perspective, you can start to see the data in a thermometer style plot.